Backlash is May 6th, and a lot of these matches will depend on what happens at the Greatest Royal Rumble. But for the sake of them, we'll go over them quickly. Uh, first off, uh, Randy Orton will have his rematch clause at Backlash. Uh, keep in mind that uh, as of the Greatest Royal Rumble, as of Backlash, all pay-per-views and network specials will be cross-branded. So, you know, it kind of defeats the purpose of that big four feeling of everyone coming together because that will happen pretty much every month now. Um, but nonetheless, General Mahal, the new face of America and the new United States champion, if he survives the great, uh, ball, the great, uh, I'll say great balls of fire, uh, the greatest Royal Rumble, uh, he will face Randy Orton in his obligatory rematch clause. Uh, but with that being said, this match does depend on what happens at the greatest Royal Rumble. Um, if Orton, Comes a champion somehow, and it'll be in, uh, Orton and Gender for the title. If Gender retains, the match will stay the same. Uh, if Gender retains at the Greatest Royal Rumble, then he will more than likely retain at Backlash. But if Orton somehow wins the title at the Greatest Royal Rumble, then he will retain the title. It just depends on the Greatest Royal Rumble at that point. Uh, speaking of that, the Intercontinental Championship, being of obligatory rematch clauses... Uh, the Miz uses his against Seth Rollins, the new Intercontinental Champion, and it depends again what happens at the Great Balls of uh, Great Royal Rumble. If uh, Rollins retains there, then he will retain in this match. If Miz somehow wins the title, this match might not even happen. But if it does, he will retain at that point. And finally, Roman Reigns versus Samoa Joe. Uh, this match is going to happen. It's been there for a while. It's happened a couple times, but it's the first time I believe at a bigger pay per view event. I may be wrong on that, but I'm not sure. Uh, as far as that's concerned, this could have a lot of implications in this. Because if Joe wins the Intercontinental title at the Greatest Royal Rumble, and Roman wins the Universal title in that Steel Cage match, then this will basically be, this potentially could be a title for title match. Uh, barring any rematch clauses or anything, which, is, which Rollins. And uh, Lesnar would have at that point. Brock probably wouldn't use it until later on. But nonetheless, it depends what happens there. If both men are the champions, then, like it or not, Roman will probably win. If one man's the champion, Joe will win. Just because Joe needs it more than Roman. He needs it way more. But if nobody's the champion, I feel Joe needs to win more. It's coming back from injury. And, of course, Roman is Roman, so it's possible he could win regardless, but I'm going to pick Joe, just on the safe side here. And with that, uh, Backlash will be May 6th, and a lot more matches will be made, a lot more potential will be made uh, just with the latest Royal Rumble, because basically every title is on the line except the women's titles, just due to the Middle, Middle Eastern way of life involving women. And I won't go on to that, because I don't want to get political and shit, but, you know, that explains why the women are not on the Greatest Royal Rumble card for the, for the most part. Even though Sasha and Alexa did have a match in the Middle East somewhere where they were training this as hope. And that, could, that hope still potentially could happen, but we don't know that for sure.